In other news, the group Citizens Against Noise Pollution is suggesting this thorny issue is one that needs to be addressed more seriously by the authorities. Vice President of the group Lindian Bechu says that they are trying to raise awareness as they receive direct complaints from residents. This problem is not just affecting, you know, small pockets of people or people who or citizens that have some type of angst against, um, you know, any type of merrymaking or noise. It's literally swaths of citizens across the country, and that's what we are realizing. It's uh, the problem is Herculean at this time, at this point in time. And one of the areas that we, are, what one of the areas that came up in our discussions in the last couple of weeks is that Shagornas in particular, um, we were getting a lot of reports, and these reports stemmed from not only private residents but also commercial establishments in the area itself. She says that they have been receiving petitions from residents of Orchard Gardens and Rodney Road in particular, with reports of unbearably loud music being played for hours on end. The group says that the laws related to noise pollution are archaic, and the response of authorities, the EMA and the police leave much to be desired. The police, one of the things that they cite in their response to not dealing or, you know, kind of relegating the noise complaints is that they do not have noise meters. But I'll tell you something. From May 2023, the EMA has been putting out releases. There has been collaboration with the police, partnerships with them to treat with noise pollution and to increase the training and capacity of officers to deal with noise complaints as well as to give to calibrate decibel meters. Ms. Bechu says that something as simple as getting a receipt from the police for making a noise complaint cannot be had in a number of instances. The group says that something needs to be done urgently as the lack of peace and quiet at homes is causing mental stress and decreased productivity. In its response to the group Citizens Against Noise Pollution, the Environmental Management Agency, or EMA, says that the police are the primary agency to deal with noise pollution. They refer to the Noise Pollution Control Rules 2001, which states that the specialist function of environmental police unit officers is to protect the environment, including from noise pollution. The organization says its role in the management of noise pollution is governed by the provisions of the Environmental Management Act Chapter 3505, which confines the EMA's remit to noise pollution from events and commercial and industrial sources. All calls to the TTPS went unanswered.